assistance, direct assistance in the amount of $2,200 for recipients of Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits, dear friends who are getting support from the EA, Social Security, C Security, SSI, or SSDI, please accept my greetings. The Social Security Administration, SA, has announced a wonderful program called $2,200 Direct Payments, which will provide much needed support. The best thing is that this initiative is being made available today, which brings a great deal of delight. And it is taking place right now. Who can participate? Let's speak about the people who are eligible to receive this $2,200 raise and the specific programs that meet the requirements. It is possible that this update is for you if you are receiving benefits from Social Security, SSI, SSDI, the VA, or any other program. Where can you get your money and are you curious about how you will get this financial lifeline? The Social Security Administration is taking a number of measures to ensure that these monies are delivered to you in a safe and timely manner. We'll take care of everything from direct deposits to alternative methods of payment. Examine the relevance of this assistance package and the ways in which it can make a significant impact on your life to better understand why it is vital. These funds are designed to assist you in achieving success in a variety of ways, including covering critical expenses and providing a cushion during difficult times. In order to guarantee that you do not miss out on this chance, we will provide you with some practical guidance on what you can do. We have you covered in every way, from keeping your information up to date to keeping you informed about any new requirements or requirements. Join us as we go deeper into this wonderful news from the Social Security Administration. It is important to keep in mind that you are not traveling alone on this voyage and that together we will weather these storms with fortitude and optimism. It is imperative that you do not overlook the importance of disseminating this encouraging report to your fellow beneficiaries as everyone has the right to be aware of it. Now in this video we are going to go over all of the essential information regarding these potential new payments. This includes who would be eligible for them, how the money would most likely be delivered, what the overall income thresholds might be, and perhaps most importantly, when you could anticipate actually receiving this cash if the plan is approved. Uh, let us delve in and get to the bottom of these payments of $2,200, which have the potential to significantly alter the financial outlook for a large number of people across the country who get benefits from the federal government, including veterans, the disabled, and senior citizens. With regard to the individuals who would be eligible to receive these direct payments from the government in the amount of $2,200, the current proposal utilizes a rather broad criteria. Under the assumption that everything goes according to plan, it is possible that tens of millions of people in the United States will be eligible to receive this money. Those who receive Social Security benefits are at the very top of the list. For the purpose of this discussion, we are referring to elderly citizens who have reached the age of 65 and are now receiving retirement benefits that they have worked for many years. Considering the quick increase in costs associated with things such as health care, housing and utilities, this unexpected injection of $2,200 might make a significant impact for individuals who are receiving a fixed income from Social Security. Additionally, those who are receiving supplemental security income, generally known as SSI, would be eligible for the benefits. This program offers essential financial support to people who are blind, crippled or old who have a limited or non-existent income to meet their basic needs. As a result of their extremely restricted financial resources, these Americans frequently face greater challenges than anyone else in terms of keeping up with inflation. So these payments of $2,200 have the potential to make a significant impact. A person who is currently participating in the Social Security Disability Insurance Program often known as SSDI, would also be eligible. People who are unable to work as a result of a major illness or injury are eligible to receive Social Security Disability Insurance, SDI, benefits. Either a medical or mental ailment that lasts for an extended period of time, participation in the program is open to disabled adults and children equally, provided that they meet certain criteria. And last but not least, when it comes to these payouts of $2,200, our warriors would not be left behind. Additionally, the Department of Veterans Affairs provides monetary benefits and other forms of aid to millions of veterans at the present time. They would receive support in the form of this new payment of $2,200, regardless of whether it was for disability, dependents, pensions, or other programs. These courageous men and women who served our country would receive support. Now, taking a step back and looking at the wider picture across all of these federal beneficiary groups, we are talking about more than 60 million people in the United States who could be eligible to receive this money, according to forecasts. This comprises more than 48 million senior citizens who are receiving Social Security retirement benefits, over 8 million persons who are getting supplemental security income, and approximately 7 million people who are enrolled in the Social Security Disability Insurance Program. And the Veterans Affairs VA provides benefits to more over 5 million veterans. Therefore, as you can see, we are talking about a pool of prospective recipients that is absolutely enormous. In the event that the payment plan is put into action, more than one third of the countries are eligible to receive this money. According to the most recent information provided by the Social Security Administration and the Department of Veterans Affairs, those are only the rough estimations. On the surface, the requirements appear to be quite basic when it comes to the income eligibility thresholds for these potential direct payments of $2,200. This proposal does not appear to include any kind of income limits or intricate phase-out procedures in contrast to other recent pandemic relief payouts that were either eliminated entirely or decreased at particular upper income categories. 
Individuals must have received monies in 2022 from one of the qualified federal beneficiary programs that we described, which includes Social Security Retirement, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits. This is the only criteria that is absolute. No matter if you have just received those benefits for a portion of the year or for the entire year, there is no requirement for a minimum payment or a time enrollment period in order to receive this $2,200 reimbursement. Therefore, regardless of whether you had a total annual income from all sources of $15,000 or $50,000 in the previous year, as long as you received those federal benefits at any point, you would still be eligible for the entire $2,200 payment, based on all that we have learned up to this point. Also included in this category are married couples in which both partners have received benefits from any of the aforementioned schemes. In that particular case, they would each receive their own individual payment of $2,200, which would effectively double the total amount for the household, which would be $4,400. One catch is that if one spouse was a beneficiary and the other was not, then the household would only receive a single payment of $2,200 rather than $4,400. This is the only exception to this rule. That brings us to some important logistical issues that you should bear in mind. Existing federal beneficiaries will not be required to submit an application or jump through any administrative hoops in order to receive these new prospective direct payments since the most recent signs suggest that they will be distributed automatically. In the event that the plan is carried out in the manner that was presented, the individuals who meet the requirements that we discuss should automatically be given these payments of $2,200 without being required to do any other steps. Everyone is wondering when these payments of $2,200 could actually begin to be sent into their bank accounts, assuming that they are given final permission. This is the questions that everyone is thinking about. It is possible that the total time frame could advance at a startlingly rapid pace if all goes according to plan. Taking into consideration the most recent remarks made by the White House and other major leaders and Converse who are driving this initiative, it would appear that the goal is to distribute the initial wave of payments to senior citizens, disabled people and veterans no later than May 2024 at the very least. On the other hand, given the sense of urgency surrounding the delivery of this financial relief to federal recipients as quickly as possible, there are some insiders who believe that an earlier distribution date in April 2024 may be achievable. In light of this, beneficiaries will want to keep a very close eye out throughout the early spring months of 2024 for any additional information regarding the precise time and distribution process for these prospective payments of $2,200. For the purpose of putting this into perspective, we are referring to approximately six to seven months from now as the likely target opportunity window. The timetables, on the other hand, have a tendency to move and change constantly in Washington, which is not surprising. On the other hand, all indicators point to the fact that the target would be the time frame of late April to May 2024 in order to begin the ball rolling. With regard to the manner in which these funds would be actually dispersed, and it is anticipated that the logistics will function somewhat similarly to the last federal stimulus payments that we witnessed during the pandemic. For the vast majority of recipients, the $2,200 would simply be delivered to them in the same manner that they typically receive their Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits on a monthly basis. As a result, the majority of people will receive their monthly payments by a direct deposit into their bank account that is associated with those federal benefits. On the other hand, those individuals who continue to receive their payments through the mail will continue to receive them through paper checks.